Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fixing Arsenal in today's episode. Our fixtures have been rearranged due to cup competition so we're not going to be facing Liverpool today. That will be the next episode. We are going to focus on cup competitions today. We've got Middlesbrough in the FA Cup and we've got Wolves in the League Cup semi-final first leg. In terms of the fixtures that you've missed since the last time we met, the first of which was a 4-0 away win in the League Cup quarterfinals against Charlton Athletic. Maitland-Niles, Rhys Nelson and Mesut Ozil getting the goals. We then had a home tie against Brighton which we completely dominated. Didn't really get very many goals though. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang getting the 10th minute goal that gave us the three points. It did sort of suggest maybe we weren't playing particularly well which came to fruition in the next game. Our second league defeat of the season, this time it was away from home against Chelsea. We dominated the opening spell of the game. We were, I thought we were going to absolutely smash them and then Antonio Rudiger in the 27th minute gave them the lead and that sort of just took the uh, took our um, mojo away and we didn't really perform for the rest of the game so we ended up falling to a 1-0 defeat. And that's why I'm going to be focusing on cup competitions because whilst uh, we're still only four points behind Liverpool um, they just seem to be pretty much unstoppable and you know for the course of this season the objective was to try and topple and win the Premier League I don't know if it's going to happen so focusing on the FA Cup, the League Cup, the Europa League might be the way to go. Getting some trophies at Arsenal and building the club back up from that point. So for today's episode we are playing Middlesbrough first at home in the FA Cup third round. Obviously heavy favourites but we are playing a full strength side. I've already submitted the squad accidentally so we'll we'll take a look at that after. And then it will be Wolves away from home in the League Cup uh, semi-final first leg. But this is how we are going to line up today. Leno in goal, Bellerin, Socrates and David Luiz at the back with Tini as left wing back. Thomas Partey and Torreira in the middle with Mesut Ozil in behind Aubameyang and Lacazette with Nicolas Pepe on the right hand side. Now uh, Middlesbrough are of course a championship club. I'm not entirely sure how they are doing in the league. They are 21st <laughs> so they're not doing great in the championship so it should be a comfortable victory particularly with the strength of our first eleven. But you never know, there's always cause for an upset. Let's get the kick off. First highlight of the game, Terrell with the corners played in. David Luiz gets his head on it and it goes over the bar. Another highlight now, it was a corner. Terrell plays it in and George Saville brings down Aubameyang in the box and we get a penalty eight minutes in. It's going to be Nicolas Pepe who steps up to take it and he buries it, beats the keeper, goes to the left-hand side and we go 1-0 up. 20 minutes in now, another highlight, David Luiz clears and Nicolas Pepe picks up a sloppy pass from the Middlesbrough defence and we can break with Pierce Hector Bellerin coming down this right hand side. He's got options in the box, should he cross it? Tini's there, back post. Kieran Tini nearly gets his God knows how many goals for the season. Another highlight now, again Bellerin on this right hand side. A lot of our play does seem to come through Hector Bellerin. He's been absolutely fantastic since his return from injury. And we played all the way back to David Luiz, Thomas Partey. Lacazette, Aubameyang, some great football opening up the Middlesbrough defence. Kieran Tini back post. It deserved a finish. Middlesbrough are on the attack this time down their left hand side. But we are closing them down well. If we can pinch the ball we could have a breaking opportunity. But it looks like Middlesbrough are doing pretty well to retain possession as Paddy McNair tries to switch the play to the right hand side. And it's a poor pass and Thomas Partey can mop up for us. The ball switched play to Nicholas Pepe on the right hand side and he goes for goal. And it was a pretty poor shot in the end. Bellerin again down this right hand side, knocking them backwards and forwards with uh, Lucas Torreira. Tini again in the box, goes for goal. Nicholas Pepe is there. Somebody put that in the back of the net. Uh, don't be one of these games, please. I don't want any sort of funny business football manager. Torreira plays it in. It's cleared. Socrates to try and keep it alive. No, he doesn't. And again with another set piece, Lucas Torreira plays it in. Nicholas Pepe can't get his head on it first time, but would keep it in the box. Lacazette is there as the offside. I don't think he is. Alexander Lacazette gets his seventh goal of the season and an assist by Thomas Partey, a rare one. Um, it was a decent cross by him. It was well defended initially by um, Dale Fry, but Thomas Partey and Torreira keep it alive and it's a great ball in. Alexander Lacazette beating the offside trap and the goalkeeper can do nothing about that one. Arsenal 2, Middlesbrough 0. And there we have it for half time. We are 2 0 up and pretty much cruising. Middlesbrough haven't created anything going forward so far. Um, so we will look to make some substitutions in the second half to save some of our major players. Uh, players like Aubameyang, Nicolas Pepe, um, keep them fit for the League Campaign and the League Cup against Wolves in the next game. First highlight of the second half though, it's going Middlesbrough's way. Marshall gets the ball in, Housen's on the edge, Asombolonga nearly gets his goal. 
Burn Leno with a good save. Nicholas Pepe is struggling the most out of the players I would want to save alongside Kieran Tierney. But we'll keep him on the pitch for a little bit longer. But we'll get Reese Nelson on, on that right-hand side for um, Nicholas Pepe. Nelson's done pretty well every time he comes on on that right-hand side. So I'm more than happy to make that change whenever it is required. 56 minutes in now and we have another highlight. And it's again starting with Middlesbrough in possession. Paddy McNair picking up the ball in the centre. And another poor pass by him. He's been giving the ball away all game. And Aubameyang's in behind now. He goes for goal. An easy save for Darren Randolph. David Luiz now picks up the ball. Switches the play to Kieran Tini on the left-hand side. Good defending by Marshall. But we retain possession. Mesut Ozil and Thomas Partey not going to backwards and forwards. And Tini finds himself in a pot of space again. Aubameyang back to Nelson. Finishing's been poor today. <laughs> and we pick up an injury. Hector Bellerin. We don't have Malqui on the bench either, so it's going to be Mustafi who goes out on that right-hand side. That is not a good injury. Hopefully, it's nothing too serious because um, Bellerin's been one of our best players, hands down. With 15 minutes to go, another highlight, and we will look to get Aubameyang off after this highlight. Lacazette receives the ball down the left-hand side. He's got Aubameyang in the box, but he goes for a goal himself, and it was a poor shot in the end. We'll get uh, Aubameyang off of Gabriel Martinelli, and we'll see how that goes for the rest of the game. Only 10 minutes remaining. I wouldn't mind another goal if it was possible, but this could be a Middlesbrough counter-attack, but David Luiz does excellently. Mustafi now bombing down the right-hand side. He's getting a nosebleed this far up the pitch. He does his man. He gets a cross in. A little bit of a, a, little bit of a calamitous defending there, but it does work out for Middlesbrough in the end. And there we have it. Full-time. Arsenal 2, Middlesbrough 0. Not a great performance by us by any stretch. It took the penalty to really unlock the doors, and then Lacazette's uh, first-half goal ends up giving us the win, but 2-0 against the championship side who was really really struggling um we're not playing particularly well at the minute is what i'm trying to say past five games or so our performances haven't been particularly great so we are in the 4th of january by the way the january transfer window has opened we haven't had any interest in any of our players so far nobody's come in with offers for any of our first teamers and we of course have that 80 million pound budget that got increased by our board we've made an offer for ruben diaz it's not going to be accepted um, he's got a 52 million minimum fee release clause which I think would have to pay if we are to sign him in this window and it might end up being an option for us I'm not really seeing too much in terms of players who would improve our first 11 for a reasonable price Ruben Diaz is definitely one of them so we'll keep an eye on that well the tactic of trying to upset Ruben Diaz and hope that he hands in a transfer request seems to be working he's upset that um, Benfica have rejected the £29 million bid I did put in. So we'll see where that goes. I wouldn't mind getting them for less than £52 million, But it's a price I'm willing to pay if I have to. So our first signing of the January transfer window is our third choice striker. Amin Guri joins the club from Lyon for a fee of £15.5 million. He's a 19 year old. I wasn't necessarily looking for someone with potential as I'm not going to be staying at Arsenal very long. But I still think he's a very, very capable third choice striker. Definitely an improvement on Martinelli, who's been operating in that role. He will just drop down to our fourth choice. But that definitely improves our options coming off the bench. And he could find himself getting plenty of game time with Lacazette not really performing particularly well in our system. So we welcome Amin Guri into the club, our first signing. So we're on our second, episode, uh, second game of today's episode. Hector Bellerin, I didn't mention, is out for three weeks. So he won't be available for the foreseeable future. So Malqui comes in at that right back spot. Everybody else is pretty much the same apart from that. Amin Guri starts today on the bench. Uh, we will look to get him some game time should we be in a positive position against Wolves. To, uh, in the first leg we are away from home which isn't ideal. But our away from home form has been a bit sketchy throughout the course of the season. And I'm pretty sure I drew against Wolves away from home last time we played. So if we could get a draw today, take them back to our place, we should be able to get through to the League Cup final, which would be absolutely fantastic. They come on us with a 5-3-2, a standard formation for Wolves on this year's Football Manager. We'll see how we'll perform against it. Let's get the kickoff. First highlight of the game, two minutes in. Gwenduzi tries to play the ball and falls to oh, Bamiyang, or was it Lacazette in the box? And it goes just over. Another highlight now, this time down the left-hand side with Kieran Tierney and Lacazette uh, linking up nicely. Mesut Ozil's the one who switches the plate to Malqui on the right-hand side. Ball's played in, it's cleared just about fast to Tierney in the box. And Kieran Tierney gets his eighth goal of the season from left wing-back. Mesut Ozil ends up being accredited with the assist. 
and we find ourselves 1-0 up only 6 minutes in. Some good play by us to retain possession in the final third. Ozil finds the ball. Nice little first time pass to Taney and that is a beautiful finish. 1-0. Can Wolves come straight back at us though? Doherty plays the ball in. It's headed oh, it's headed goalwards. And if that was on target, there was no chance Leno was going for it. Ozil with the free kick in the final third. Plays the ball in. A false Pepe in the box. And Nicholas Pepe with his 16th goal of the season. An absolutely fantastic volley coming down out the sky. And he was facing away from goal as well, I believe. So he's really rotated his body to be able to get this on target. We'll see it again. He's facing towards the throwing line. And he ends up getting a good volley, hitting off the bar, 2-0 up, we are cruising. And the first half just goes away, just like that. Wolves nil, Arsenal 2. In the other semi-final, Chelsea are beating Crystal Palace 2-0. So if things are to stay as they are, it looks like it might be a Chelsea-Arsenal League Cup final. But a lot of football still to be played yet. Let's kick off for the second half and see how things go. The ball finds its way to Otto on this left-hand side for Wolves. Gibbs White finds Dotted. He's beat his man. He's in behind. Burnt Leno dives for it. Raul keeps it. Oh, we managed to get rid of it. That's that's fine. 52 minutes in now. Wolves in possession once again, but in their final third. If only we can nick the ball and maybe pounce on a counter-attack. We do get it back, but it's all the way back to Leno. The ball works its way to Kieran Tini on this left-hand side. A nice little through ball for Lacazette there, who gets dispossessed by Willy Bolly. And now they can break with Neto on this right-hand side. He absolutely does his man, does two. He's in the box. Poor finish. David Luiz with a free kick. He plays the ball in. Socrates is there. Uh, Wolves manage to get rid of it just about, and they're going to break. Pedro Neto brings the ball out on this left-hand side. It's oh, David Luiz. Where's the pace come from, mate? That was absolutely brilliant. Uh, getting back there and winning the ball back. But Leno's ball clearance just invites pressure on us once again with Dottadee on this right-hand side. Ruben Neves and Jimenez combining well. Taney wins the ball, but Neves chases it up first. And Wolves are playing very, very well here. Dotty gets the ball in, and he can't get it on target. Another highlight this time. It's Lagazette beats his man with a burst of pace, and he comes down this left-hand side. He, oh, he beats another. He gets Nicholas Pepe at the back post, and he's offside. He was an absolute mile off. So Aubameyang is the striker who's not playing particularly well in today's game, so we are going to get him off, and we're going to get Amin Guri on our new signing. Let's see what he can do in the final 30 minutes or so of this game. Morgan Gibbs White with the free kick for Wolves. It's a. Did you see the whip on that? There must be some uh, wind in this stadium. But David Luiz wins the ball back and sets away Nicholas Pepe on this right hand side. He's got a couple of men to beat. He does one. Can he get the ball in? He can. Kieran Tini's there. Nearly his second goal of the game. And with only 10 minutes or so in to go into today's match, Kieran Tini's done very well. And he's got to come off for Siad Kalasinac. And who else is going to come off? Uh, maybe Mesut Ozil for Danny Sabellos. Uh, he doesn't get a lot of game for me, Danny Sabellos, but he is still a good player. Corner. Pepe plays it in back post. It's cleared. Sabellos can keep the ball alive, though. We've got plenty of options in the box. of Gruri is one of them, and he just about doesn't score. Rui Patricio with a very good save. He was offside anyway, but would have been nice to see. We're almost at the end of the 90 minutes. There's a Wolves attack here. Adama Triori beats his man. And beats Burnt Leno, his third goal of the season. Gives Wolves a goal back and maybe a lifeline back into this tie. Wolves 1, Arsenal 2. Of course, we've still got the second leg to go. We are at home in that. So going back to our place with a 2-1 advantage is absolutely massive. We should be able to comfortably get through to the League Cup final, which will be great. Bring some silverware to Arsenal, regardless of the trophy. It's just nice to be able to do. So we're still at the 8th of January. I'm still chipping away at Ruben Diaz, hoping he will request a transfer from Benfica and we can get him for a little bit cheaper. Looking forward to the next episode, though. It's going to be the games against Liverpool in the Premier League and Wolves in the League Cup semi-final second leg. We'll skip the Brentford FA Cup fourth round game, hoping we'll be able to comfortably beat them and get ourselves through to the latter stages of the FA Cup. But I if we beat Liverpool in this game, we are at home where we've been absolutely dominant. Uh, you know, as you can see, our three away draws, all away from home, our two defeats away from home. So the, the away from home performances are very, very poor, but our home performances have been impeccable. Hopefully we can do that against Liverpool, close that gap to one point. You never know, the Premier League title chase might be back on. I'm not confident, I'll not lie. Liverpool are just such a good team on Football Manager. It might be a, just a stretch too far. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.